sketch a box plot of the data given. We have the data over here, these 20 data values. And a box plot that we'll make is a nice visual representation of the distribution of these values. A box plot consists of at least five numbers. It's got the low number, the first quartile, denoted Q sub 1, the median of the data, the third quartile, and the highest number. So the low and high are easy to pick off. In fact, this data is in order. So we've got 20 and 93 for the lowest and the highest. And we'll use Excel to find the first and third quartiles and the median. So the, the uh, first quartile, this is quartile, you think of quarter, 25. So this is the value that is above 25%. 25% of all of the data. That's what the first quartile is. And the third quartile then is the value that is above three quarters. So three quarters, 75 cents, or above 75% of the data. The median is right in the middle. So it, it's, it's uh, above 50% and below 50%. So we'll talk about that as being in the middle position. And certainly we could count these out, count the positions, and, and there's a little formula for the first and third quartiles. And, um, and that's, not, that's not bad. That's, that's great to be able to do that. But if you have Excel, you can certainly do it faster. And that's what we'll do with this example. So the first quartile, you can type in. There's a function called uh, quartile. And I'm going to show you first how to find it on the function button because you may forget exactly how to spell it or how the argument goes uh, with what you put in the parentheses. So we go to insert function, this f of x key, and then, then it says what kind of category. Well, we're going to do statistical. Those are the functions we're looking for. And it's quartile. Even if you forget exactly what it's called or how it's spelled or if it's abbreviated, this one is not abbreviated. So you just you choose the quartile and then it walks you through it. It says, what is your array of well, the quartile of what data set? And you've got your cursor in this array. So you choose all of these, let go, and then it's, it knows that uh, you're talking about that data set and then quartile, which quartile? And, it's, and it tells you here what that means, what you're looking for. Um, we're looking for the first quartile. So it tells you the first quartile is 32 point two five okay we've got that uh, for the third quartile I'm gonna type it in this time equals quartile and then I'm gonna open up the parentheses and then choose all of this data and then hit comma let's just move this over just a little bit so you can see this hit comma and then three and this excels pretty nice about telling you what it what it wants there Close the parentheses, so we're getting the third quartile here, 73.25. Median, uh, if you forget that it is exactly median for the function name, you, of course, can find that with the function key, or I'll just type in equals median, and choose these numbers, or this data, close the parentheses, and we've got it. We have 58 for the median. Now, over here to find or to use these numbers to make a, a a box plot. First of all, what you need is uh, a scale. So we have our lowest at 20. We have our highest at 100. So I'm just going to go by, I'm going to go by 20s just so I don't run out of space. Oh, I can go by 10s. Let's do it. I think I'll just write every 20. I don't want it to be too crowded. So every hash mark is 10. There's 50. Here's 60. 70. 80. And this is just a sketch, of course. You could draw this out very nicely. There's 90. And there is 100. 
Okay, we need our scale. Now we've got our Q1 and Q3. We're going to put that down right away, and I will use the, I'll stay with the orange color. So Q1, we know is 32.25, so let's put that down. Here's, here's our 30, 32.25 is about here, so we draw a line right there for our first quartile, Q1. And I like to label it. I like to show what that number is. Um, on the other end of the box plot is Q3, 73.25. Here's our 73.25 about here. Again, we're just sketching it. Q sub 3. And then we have our box, 73.25 was the third quartile. The median is at 58, so we'll put that in. That's just below 60. Right about here is our median. And I'm going to label that X with a curvy line. That's oftentimes used to represent the median. X with a straight line is the mean, but we're talking about the median. And I'll write this in, 58. Now, I know that there are no uh, outliers in this data, and I'll show that in just a minute. Let me just first put this, just finish this, uh, these whiskers. So I've got the highest at 93, so about up here. And that's connected with a line, a whisker, if you will. And lowest at 20, right there. And there it is, there's our box with whiskers. So, what are outliers? Well, an outlier is a value that would be, uh, for example, 73.25 plus 1.5 times the interquartile range. The interquartile range. Let me show what that is. The uh, IQR. IQR equals this Q3 minus Q1. So in, in our example, it's 41. That's our interquartile range. I'm going to move down just a little bit so you can see. I've got a little bit more room to write here. Uh, so if we had a value that was greater than, greater than uh, 73.25 plus... 1.5 times 41, which which equals uh, 134.75. So way out way out here somewhere. If we had a value that was beyond that, then we would say that was a um, an outlier. Likewise, I'm going to erase this because I don't I don't want you to think that that is an outlier. Uh, as part of this box plot. But if we had a value that was beyond this 134.75, um, that would be an outlier. Likewise, if we went to the left of Q1, if we had a a value that was less than, less than 32.25, I just noticed I made a little mistake there. I apologize. That's 32.25 in there. Um, minus 1.5 times the interquartile range, 41. So less than this value of negative 29.25, then we'd have a, an outlier on the left-hand side. But we don't have any of those values in this data set. So we just have the box and the whiskers and no outliers. By the way, if you did have an outlier, you would just use the next lowest or next highest value for to, to close the whiskers. All right, there it is, some quartiles and a box plot.